A new year, a new piece of Sims content, that's just the way the world works. As such, Maxis welcomes us to 2015 with the Sims 4 Outdoor Retreat Game Pack, the first piece of paid content for The Sims 4. And yes, this is a game pack, not a stuff pack, not an expansion pack, but a new flavor of pack entirely. Seems they're changing things up on us, and that's cool by me because personally, I grew weary of useless stuff packs and gigantic expansions where I only used half the content. Now we've got game packs that fall somewhere in between stuff packs and expansions in regards to content and price. For 20 US dollars or your regional equivalent, you can log on to the Origin Store and download a good sized morsel of freshly baked Sims 4 gameplay. At this point it's only sold online, not on store shelves. Once you've got it installed, just go into your game and enjoy the overbearing menu blasting you in the face with your new piece of content. Start a game, and whenever you feel like it, you can now send your Sims on vacation to the bug-infested bear wallow known as Granite Falls. This is a woodsy area of ambiguous locale, reminiscent of forests and campgrounds familiar to anyone who's either seen a slasher flick in the past 30 years or has been forced by their family to visit one under the dubious guise of bonding and building character. Yes, this is the realm of mosquitoes, cabins, waterfalls, and taking a dump in little wooden shacks. In short, it's a huge and welcome departure from The Sims 4's generic suburban worlds. But what does this mean in regards to The Sims 4? Well, you've got like 60 new items, dozens of new clothing and hairstyles, new skills, new activities, and new newness to new over. To start things off, you choose the lot you want to vacation at, and then choose the length of your stay. Once you get there, it's up to you as to what you want to do, because this is an entirely new, open-ended world to explore. It's about on par with the previous worlds as far as size, maybe a bit bigger, but it's got a whole different aesthetic and is filled with several new things to do. For one thing, you can now place tents and campfires and all that sort of outdoorsy camping stuff. Tents not only give you a place to rest, but they're fun for kids to play in, and even more fun for adults to play in. Ooh. And if you forgot to bring one, there's a ranger station that lets you buy tents and other supplies so you're not stuck fending for yourself and drinking your own pee. I mean, unless you just feel like it, and in that case, you can do that. Well, without the pee. As there are a slew of new collectibles for your survivalist-inclined sim to find, from insects to fish to plants. Herbalism is a new skill as well, so you can pull a Dovahkiin and just munch everything until you find out what it is, and once you do, you can combine ingredients to make special elixirs. Campfires are a lot of fun as well, especially with a group of friends around, with everyone just socializing and multitasking in a way that only The Sims 4 has let you do up to this point. Roasting hot dogs, playing in the fire, telling ghost stories, and singing terribly are all on the agenda, and it's pretty great. Of course, there are things to do in the day as well, like kicking back with a cold one and an old friend, or eating cheeseburgers in silence with a bunch of people you don't know. And if you don't mind a loading screen, beyond the main campground, there's a nearby woods you can explore, filled with other collectibles and horror movie sets. Surely an attractive young sim walking around here late at night won't bring out the serial killers, so don't worry about it. What you should worry about is your sims going crazy from boredom, uncomfortability, and sleep deprivation, especially if they're not the in-tune-with-nature type. In that case, it's probably a better idea to just rent a cabin, of which there are several sizes, shapes, and styles to choose from. Granted, it's not the same experience as roughing it in a polyester shack in the dirt, but if you've got the money and don't have the willpower, then why not? Cabins can also be incredibly cozy, so if a romantic getaway is on your agenda, but you'd rather not deal with bugs chomping at your nads, then it's a great alternative. What it comes down to is Outdoor Retreat is a really cool little pack of game. A game pack, that is, and I'm really amused they're taking this direction with expansion content. They've provided something akin to a full expansion without going overboard on price and things to do, but also the number of objects a stuff pack would have without skimping on the new gameplay. Now, is it worth buying or not? Well, seeing as 20 bucks got you much less in The Sims 3, I'm inclined to say this is just awesome and I like it a lot. And I know, they added things like ghosts, pools, and new careers for free last year, but there's still a whole lot of stuff left that needs to be added to this game in my opinion, and you can bet that not all of that will come for free. 
These game packs are one other way to do so, and I think it's a step in a direction that can benefit the publisher and simmers alike. Maybe this particular content doesn't appeal to you, but if this is a success, then I can imagine 50 more of these things coming along to feed all sorts of niche gameplay ideas. Sooner or later, one will pop up that makes you go, holy crap, I need this. And when you get it, at least the $20 you spend won't disappoint you with stupid things like lemonade you can't drink and a candy-coated love seat. Now, I'm not all in favor of them nickel and diming us with a ton of piecemeal content, don't get me wrong, but I do think it makes way more sense to make smaller packs that add new items and gameplay, rather than risk it all on a $40 expansion that may or may not appeal to as many people, or releasing a bunch of stuff packs nobody wants. Chances are they'll still release proper expansions for The Sims 4, but if they've gotten rid of stuff packs entirely and replaced them with game packs like this, then I say bring it on. I am a simmer, and I want more fun content to sim with. And outdoor retreat delivered. And if you enjoyed this look at a Sims 4 thing, then you might want to check out my other Sims 4 things, and Sims 3 and 2 and 1 and spin-off things. They're all on my channel. And more are coming as I feel like doing them and as more new stuff comes along. Videos every Monday and Friday here on LGR, so subscribing is a thing that exists just for that purpose. You can also follow and interact with me on Twitter and Facebook, as well as support the show on Patreon, allowing you to see videos like this before anyone else. Except for the other patrons, but that's okay. There's plenty of video to go around for everyone. And as always, thank you very much for watching.